and the bridge was awesome. We sailed up to the bridge and I looked up and it, it looked like from where I was sitting we weren't going to make it under the bridge. I got you, Mad. Madeline was up to her old tricks again. I was just like, dude, we've just met them. I didn't feel like a model. I felt like I was one of the guys up there having fun and just, you know, being me. We just came back from an amazing trip. The three of us went to L.A., New York. That was awesome. Oh, great. Fun. It was good to talk to sophisticated men who might remember us just around the town. Because Sydney is actually quite small when, when you have a lot of friends. Yeah, right. They said I had 10 glasses of champagne. I don't actually think I could have 10 glasses of champagne and still walk off the boat and hold a conversation. You're having a ball, aren't you? <laughs> it felt glitzy and glamorous. And, and then Louise started throwing up. It was awesome. Before you get to the stage of feeling like you're going to be sick, go up and just get a bit of fresh air. How are you going? Oh, good. She all of a sudden got really nervous. The fishiness of it. Oh. We can't take you anywhere. <laughs> oh, we can't. We can't. Mad, mad, mad. Mad. <laughs> the bridge and the opera house is beautiful. See, we promised you a good sunset. Ebony lost a pair of earrings of mine that I lent her, and that's just not cool. You don't have to get so worked up about it. It's not, it's not like I wrecked a top or like I fucking did something else to you, like really bad. Well, it's not your mind, Ebony. Yeah, well, no, I I'm not apologising. I've said sorry a million times. Well, I couldn't believe it that she got so angry over an earring. Like, it's not the end of the world. I'm going to deal with you. I'm going to deal with you. Come on, Fuck it. Ebony and I have been a bit rashy with each other lately, but we get over it within an hour or two. Um, one of the chicks, Madeline, she walks around with a top off and stuff like this. She's a bit cocky. Like, like, personally, I think she's just slut, basically. Please leave your message after the tone. Hi, Rory. I kind of wanted to talk to you about some stuff. Like, I, I'm not sure whether I should stay here or go get out of the house so I can study more. So, so next, will the girls survive their first public performance? Cecil was actually another girl. Wasn't really sure if I'd throw tomatoes at us on stage, you know. And jealousy runs rife over this week's reward. I guess I wish, you know, it would have been me. I guess any of them would have wished it would have been them. Yeah. Jealous, I guess. OK, guys, waking up, let's go. We've got training in five minutes. A beautiful day out. We were woken up by Adam this morning with big thudding on the door. It's a beautiful way to be woken up in the morning. A few girls have injuries, so they had to go down to the gym and train, and the rest of us um, went on a bit of a jog. <laughs> the gym. I have to say, I worked my ass off in there, and I got on the bike, and I pedalled hard, and I was sweating, and I was drenched, and Sarah was working really hard as well. I was a bit disappointed in Louise, because she wasn't doing anything. She was in the hot tub the whole time. <laughs> The work, guys, let's pick the pace up. Come on, let's go. It was a really good workout this morning. We had to run up about a thousand flights of stairs. Let's put it through. We've only got a couple more to go. All the way to the top. Good work, guys. Keep it going. Let's go, Haranthi. If we don't get up there in 15 seconds, we're doing it again. Let's go, come on. We only had one more, um, like, go, the complete go. of all the stairs. Of course, I got up the top, and a few other girls did, but, um... Harathi pulled out. I've got an extreme phobia of heights. Very extreme, like I can't walk in some shopping centres. Unfortunately, there was one person who didn't make it in the 15 seconds, so we're all doing it again. No, she's watching. Okay. She got it into her head that, um, you know, oh, I can't do this, I'm not going to do this, I can't push myself anymore, you know. That's probably why she did it. Let's go, guys, 10 seconds. But all the other girls did it. How come, you know, Harathi couldn't do it? Oh, no, so Underneath Jess's bed, there was like all these nuts, glad wrapped in like little bags, like five to seven nuts in each bag of glad wrap. Okay, why did you have like 
However many nuts you don't seem to use, because that's a smack. I really love cashew nuts. That's a squirrel smack. <laughs> I had a massive sack of cashews in my bag. I'd be like, oh, no, 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 no. Why have you got these? And she goes, because I'm sick of being hungry. And I'm like, well, what about us? You know, what if we get hungry? What yeah. are we going to eat? In the morning, I can grab them, chuck them over their bag. And so if I get hungry, I can have some cashews. Is that a big deal? I think we sort of had an idea that we'd be doing something to do with the theatre sports. So we sort of arrived at this pub. Entertainment every night. I think we're the entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> and we're just like shitting our pants. I don't mind if I embarrass the absolute shit out of my shit. I think I never <laughs> shit, guys. Oh my god. We went straight inside. Once we saw the comedians, we felt much more at ease, I think. My name's Desh. If I was a porn star, I'd call myself Bangladesh. I get fucked, that's funny. We went inside and we met Cameron and Beck. Hello. <laughs> have a seat. And they sort of explained to us what was going to happen and the different things we're going to have to play on stage. Well, you know what we taught you uh, in the workshop? Yeah. We're just going to do a couple of those games. I should tell you this, girls, there is a very, very big reward out of this, is okay? So prize? I'm not going to say what it is. I'll tell you after the gig, okay? Go team Ooh. model. Ooh. Ooh. These girls are models, so they've been on stage before modelling and stuff, but this is going to be a whole new thing. This is going to be so funny, all right? So let's make welcome from the Comedy Channel, Mr Cameron Knight. Good luck. <laughs> all right. Thank you. This is quite a high-risk theatre. It's completely improvised. So without further ado, having a big round of applause for the girls from the next Strip Strip Model. I think it was the most embarrassing part of the night, that people actually knew that <laughs> we wanted to be models. So, folks, the first game we're going to play is called Die. Now, if they falter, if they stumble, you guys have to yell out Die. So we have a bit of a practice on Die. One, two, three. Die! Yeah, all right, that's good. OK, this story is about Cyril the Wombat and his adventure in Threadbow. Here we go. <laughs> Cyril the Wombat didn't ski. He went to the... <laughs> Death by Grenade. I thought Louise's yes, okay. grenade Wait, thing one, two, was a bit of a poor effort. I wasn't really sure if that's through tomatoes at us on the stage, you know. I think the crowd was very eager to make people die, because every time anyone stuffed up, they're like, die, die! Die! Oh, no. oh, death by wedgie! <laughs> I mean... <laughs> death by nipple cripple! <laughs> It was a really bogan crowd, and I suppose it's funny because there's models there, and models are dumb and have tits, ha ha ha. So get out, go outside, sit in the plant pot, and fart some more. <laughs> Madeline's death I thought was really well done. She had the task of dying by excessive laxatives. <laughs> for our winner, it's Lara. Lara just went off. She's a really funny chick. I knew she'd cane everyone. Questions only. Now, this is where the girls can only speak in questions. Why do you have to be in the bomb? I'm not speaking myself up, but I guess I'm one of the ones with, like, a good sense of humour in this house. Hey, What's a bomb? <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end, we stood in a line and the audience cheered for the people they thought were the funniest. <laughs> and he came to me and I just went, I just knew that the audience would like that because it was a bunch of, you know, drunk and skunks. I think it's you. Madeline, Caroline, Lara and I got picked to go up on stage. You're the interviewer and you're the expert in plastic surgery. So, Pocanoco, where did you get those lovely breasts from? Uh, actually... <laughs> do you like my breasts? Yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> it just looked really funny because they were such short little arms and they were just like... <laughs> Your boobs are not real. Talk yes, they are. Talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. <laughs> Thanks for double fingers, folks. Well done. That's it for us. Uh, having a big round of applause for the girls. Stand up, girls. Come on.